From bedroom gamer to professional race car driver, I'm joined by Jan Marderborough and a model year 17 Nissan GTR. We're going to be going out on the roads and I'm going to be asking you a few questions, including some curveballs. I hope you're okay with that. Well, it doesn't really matter. I've got the questions. You have to deal with it. Let's go and jump into the car and I've got to go and get in the passenger seat. A question, uh, sorry, a, a more of a statement that I've had in the past as a kid, the sort of the conversation with my mum and dad saying, stop playing games. It's not going to get you anywhere. Yeah. Did you have those same conversations? Yeah. Come home from school, four o'clock, I just want to play some games. And they'll be like, no, no games until seven o'clock. You should get off the PlayStation, go outside, go out and meet new friends. I can talk to anyone <laughs> I want online. I'm a headset, I can voice chat. <laughs> Oh, do whatever I want. Do you see that there's going to be other people like yourself coming through the ranks and through competitions like Nissan GT Academy that you did? Yes, uh, I think you know in the next 10 years there's going to be more people like me, like the past winners of GT Academy coming from gaming um, into the real world of motorsports and also in other sports as well. There's going to be more options for the virtual world to enter the, the real world of, I don't know, golf or motorsport. Um, yeah, well, I mean, to be fair, golf's actually quite a good example. Yeah. You, you've got the simulation there as well, which I guess golf isn't as an expensive of a sport to get into, uh, I suppose. Uh, course fees are... <laughs> are you a golfer? You a I golfer? used to be and oh, I okay. stopped because it was like 400 quid a, a year for playing on a bit of green grass. Be honest with me now, how many hours a day would you be playing racing games before you, you got to that stage of, of Nissan GT Academy? I was like any other you know, teenager. Um, I loved playing games. I'd, I'd spend hours, come home from school, play hours. And then on the run up to the Nissan GT Academy, I'm Seven guessing hours, it up. Yeah. six hours. People always want to know what it's like going from simulation, not even simulation, you had plastic pedals that used to break all the time. Yeah. Going all the way to being a professional racing car driver. What is the transition like? I'd never raced in real life. I'd never been to a track. I'd never, you know, had it driven anything particularly quick. And then I was thrown in a GTR 500 horsepower thing. Yeah. And this is sick. And Beast. Yeah. <laughs> what was your feelings and emotions when that? When you had that opportunity. So um, I had I for the competition I went on eBay and I bought these red Sparco boots. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Motorsport boots. How much? Uh, I think they were like seventeen pound. Nice. And okay. then post and packaging was like three quid. Yeah. Very <laughs> <laughs> still ruining the post and packaging. I know it wasn't free. <laughs> but they were like bright red and I still have them. And I, there was an instructor next to me, and at the time he was, he was the chief instructor of Silverstone at, at the time. And he must have thought, what is this guy doing? <laughs> First time in anything powerful, yeah. and he's got racing boots on. I, I can just only imagine what your, your face was like. I just get out the car, you know, sh kind of shaking, just yeah. pure adrenaline and just joy. And there was a camera like in my face when I came out the car as well. And <laughs> it's on YouTube somewhere, but my, they were asking me, oh, what? What was I like? And I'm We're like, find this. talking. And I'm like, I would love to do that. It's my job. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do it again. I just couldn't talk properly. I was so excited. That sounds like a really good impression of what I imagine it's like. <laughs> this one, not so much of a curveball. Uh, what's the best and worst purchase you've ever made? Worst purchase, I went on eBay. I bought the Sparco racing boots for £17. That was probably one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> worst purchase, I went on eBay and I bought a 26 year old v12 bmw which is like just been, at the time. which was an amazing idea at the time and uh, v12 there and yeah. it's awesome and it just spends its time in a workshop well the best thing i've I bought is a um was my steering wheel and pedals that weren't particularly great but got me to gt academy oh i like that full circle i like it we're gonna get deep but in the way of life okay All so right. I mean, that's given you absolutely no indication as to what this question is. If you could know the complete and utter truth to one question, what would it be? Whoa, that's, that's a good <laughs> oh, question. Yeah. Yeah. Good, thank you. Oh. And, and deep. That's a really hard question. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay. I, we'll leave every, every viewer on a whim and we'll come back to that question okay. at the end. So do you have time or still enjoy playing games? I still play some games. I don't have so much time. And uh, it will sound bad to gamers, but you have to understand, once you have a piece of the cake 
of real life driving cars and yeah. the cool cars yeah. from all times and car cool cars now racing cars and then and then you play the game I can't find myself to be playing a racing game for as long as I did in the past I was going to say that as soon as I said that question I was like is it even racing games you play anymore because of the fact you have? I still play some racing games, but I spend the majority of my time playing shooting games. But racing games, I when I have them I, and if I'm training on them, I you know I enjoy it so much and I take it to the nth degree of how I did. But there becomes a point where it's, it just comes earlier where I'll score. Okay, I want to do something else now. What's the most useless talent you have? Oh man. Yeah. Useless talent, yeah. I yeah, I know. It's not really a talent. I've a habit of taking stuff apart, but don't, then don't put yourself down. Yeah, not no. really putting them back together again. <laughs> I destroy things. Yeah, <laughs> like understand how it goes together and how it comes okay. apart. Yeah. Do you have any bad habits? I bite my nails. <laughs> I love that. You're like there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only bad habits? Yes. So when you won Nissan GT Academy, yeah, uh, were you decently fit when you won and? How much of a transitional phase was it between where, where your fitness level was as a normal human being yeah. to then having to become a racing driver? Um, when I won, I was um, I was fit. I played football for a Sunday league team. I just stopped a few months prior to GT Academy, and um, I weighed about 73 kilos. I was quite stacked. Um, everyone in Wales seemed to I love was the pretty gym. Built. Pre pretty swole <laughs> compared to where how I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. lost a lot of um, fat. Yeah, a lot of fat um, because you know heat. extra weight. It's not it's weight. Time. It's the it's the heat. Yeah. Um, when you're in the GT car, especially um, any fat, it just acts as an insulator. Oh yeah. So you just yeah. get so hot in these cars. This GT3 GTR gets ridiculously hot, like 55 degrees. Because we're in the uh, model year 17 Nissan GTR. Yeah. What is it like to drive these cars? You know, really quick. Um, the engine's really strong. Full wheel drive system is great. Yeah, I'd say it's a really good car. Are you sure you haven't uh, it's, uh, it's put the helmet away fun. and you're actually a salesman and this is all a I kind all of a actually am a salesman because <laughs> if you think about it, I race for Nismo. Nismo sell cars with Nissan Motorsport. Yeah. Um, if my job is to win. And if you win. And if I win, more promotion for Nissan cars, GTR, so on, which sells cars. Yeah. So I am a salesman. You are? Who happens... Is that what you say when people say, so what's your profession? When you're meeting the supermodels and... No, I say I'm a flagpole painter. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Do you actually? Yeah, no one believes that you're a racing driver. Yeah. It's, it's, it's no, like, yeah, not. race cars. Yeah, right. You know you don't. And then, like, then what do you see from that? Where do you see your career heading within motorsport? My dream is still Formula One. That would be the icing on the, on yeah. the, on the cake. Cherry on the cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, What I do want myself to have as a career is a career that will last me into my early 40s as a professional as a driver of a a factory driver of a manufacturer nice. which is what I am now with, yeah. with Nismo so Jan final question which we mentioned earlier what is the one question you would like the answer to the whole truth and nothing but the truth it could be Will I ever reach Formula One? If yeah. it doesn't happen, it's kind of like. I guess if you know, then. You know, I'll always keep working towards that. Jan, it's been an absolute pleasure. What an Cheers, absolute mate. little uh, trip that was. If you want to watch another video, click. Has he nailed it? He has. And if you want to subscribe, click just down here. I'm Matt. He's Jan. He's off in his R32. We're WTF1. I'm not in an R32. Goodbye.